the NCIS agents assured me, we have never had this much evidence. They had my clothing where my zipper was broken and his fingerprints on my articles of clothing. They had his DNA on my comforter. They found his DNA inside my rape kit. He was still found not guilty of anything. I woke up in a a puddle of blood. I realized that I had duty. And in the military, if you don't report for duty, you're considered AWOL. So I thought that if I could get myself to base, I could get medical help. And I also wanted to report the crime. I told him what happened, and my duty officer said, really? He said, it looks like you had a rough roll in the hay. I went to the second in command. He just said that I was a slut and um, that females had no business in his unit. And I tried to explain to him about my wounds, physical wounds, and the blood in my vagina and what ran down my legs. And he told me, perhaps you'll just call it a bad period. She said, I'm going to do you a favor, though, and give you an honorable discharge and write borderline personality disorder on it so you can't re-enlist. I reported it and got told I was a liar, that I just wanted to go back home. And the master at arms that I spoke to told me that he would speak with these gentlemen about it. And after he did that, my life turned to hell. The gang of molesters decided one time that they were going to ransack me while I was in the shower, beat the crap out of me, shoved me on the ground, tried shoving a bottle of shampoo up me. Then they ended up raping me with a toilet bowl cleaner. I ended up going to the ship's doctor. I was bleeding. He told me it was fine. It was probably just hemorrhoids or something and just don't worry about it. I don't have to work for the day and go back to work the next day. 